Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to Minecraft on the Beach Block server. That's right, folks, we're back on the block. We're doing some modded Minecraft. We're actually playing FTB Horizons 3. Uh, last episode, as you may or may not recall, we uh, we did some stuff with uh, Evilcraft. We got some uh, we blood tanks set up. We got some... Uh, we got some cool stuff set up so that we can actually start doing some blood infusion. We worked on all of the promises that allow for the different levels of blood uh, infusion. Um, in the interim, I have done a few things. Uh, let's kind of show you what I've done real quick. Um, so over here at the at the mob farm, I did I did go ahead and make some vector plates. You guys have seen me make those in other series before. So there's a couple of vector plates down here that keep pushing mobs into the uh, the spike plate that's in there. Plus I uh, put plus I put spike plate or uh, not spike plates, but uh, vector plates up there in the mob farm because mobs do form on them. Now it pushes them off the edges, so it's a little bit more efficient. As a matter of fact, it's so efficient that I now have one, two, three, three dark tanks full of blood, which is awesome. We're going to step away from Evilcraft a little bit today, um, although we do have one thing I want to do uh, to go with, actually two, because we're going we're gonna to tie these things in so that we can use those to, uh, to bring lava back to the base, because I want to do something with that. And I'm also going to build uh, something that we can use to, to make some some of the blood shards that we're going to need. It's this drying basin. So the drying basin is pretty cool. You take your uh, your your liquid blood, you put it in there, and it turns it into dried blood. And then I think you just have, I think you could just click it, and uh, I think you can just click it, and it, it works out really nice. So there we go, drying basin. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and put this over here for now. Um, I guess we'll put it put it right. Can I do that? I can, and so now it's going to dry. My oh, dog is. Uh, so I'm, I, we'll go ahead and let that dry, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, but the other thing that we're going to work on today has to do with what we have right over this way, uh, over here. So I've got some more pods laid out that we're going to do. So um, I've got I've got one over here, one over here, one over here. These two we're not going to work on today. One is going to be. Egg spike. Uh, one is going to be our storage area, and I figure putting it kind of closer to the mob farm makes sense. Uh, over here, this is going to be our mail room. So all of these ender chests that you see left here, JT left those. Um, I wasn't sure for at first who had left them, but JT left those, and that's going to be the the official beach block postal service. Uh, and so anytime you want to send stuff something to other people. Um, you just put it into the appropriate uh, ender chest. So like uh, Kraken's the one with the black band. I'm the one with the red band. Uh, this one over here should be JT. And this one, there should be another one here that falls are. Yeah, I think it's this one. Here. Yeah, that one's Zelzar. So that one's JT's. And so we'll build a little mail room to put all that in. Uh, and then this last little pod over here, the one that's farther along than the rest of them, this one is going to be where we're going to do our power generation, and our power generation is going to be based on lava. Um, so we're going to be able to use the magmatic dynamos from thermal expansion, kind of like the steam dynamo that we've got right here. But we'll put a we'll put a couple of them up in there, probably probably three, I think, maybe four. You know, I don't want to do even numbers, so it'll be an odd number. So three or five, I'm guessing. Um, and then we'll do, uh, we'll be able to put them into, um, uh, what am I trying to say here? Storage cells, energy cells. Uh, so over here on this uh, on this little assembly line I've got going over, we've got some stuff. So we've got our hardened uh, fluid ducts. We're going to need some of those. So let's go ahead and grab those. That's just lead uh, and invar. Invar was pretty easy. Ooh, invar is just, what, silver and... Uh, Oh gosh, we have to look it up. Hang on. In bar. Bar. Dust. Iron and iron and nickel. That's what it is. So iron and nickel makes in bar, which is pretty cool. So we'll grab some of those. Uh, and that'll be that. Magmatic dynamo, that's a little bit more tough, but it's it's still not super complicated. You need uh, transmission coils. Actually I've got three of these up, don't I? So at the worst we'll just make two more. Oh my Discord's going crazy this morning. I'm turning the volume down on. Uh, so anyway, it's just uh, redstone transmission coils. Redstone transmission coils, I believe, are the ones that are made with silver. So. There it is. 
yeah, that one's just the one that's made with silver. So those are easy enough, plus invar gears, which you already saw how to make invar. And so that'll give me all three of those that we're going to need over here now this is the, this is the part that's going to make this all work this is a pump and this is from ranged pumps mod uh this thing is pretty cool it takes four pieces of obsidian a diamond block a couple of uh pickaxes a bucket of lava and a bucket of water easy peasy rice and cheesy and this thing works really really well it does like a 64 by 64 area uh of uh, of lava and so it will continuously be so if you find like a giant lava pool nether I mean, you can have lava for days, right? So this is cool. We're going to use this. Uh, that'll get us going on having... Oh, and you get the buckets back. Um, that's pretty standard, I guess. Uh, redstone conductance coil. Easy peasy. We hadn't built one of these yet, so I thought I'd show you that one on camera. Uh, but that's just a piece of electrum and electrum. I think that's the one that... Dust. There. Yeah, so that's gold and silver. Easy peasy get one of those and then that I believe goes in here with the energy cell that we the energy cell frame that we built before and that makes our first energy cell how about that how about that I love it oh I know why I made why I made three dynamos because I need one in the nether for the other end of this thing right so over here what we're going to do is we'll probably go along the back wall there <clears throat> we'll have uh, we'll have our ooh yeah so we need to have one of these chalices over here in this area to bring the lava in from the other dimension, and then we'll have it feed those uh, those magmatic dynamos with their uh, with the lava, you know, so that uh, so that it has a steady supply, right? And then in the Nether, so we'll have to go to the Nether here in just a minute. We need to get a lava lake, which I have, uh, and then we can set up this pump. We can set up uh, one of these magmatic dynamos dynamos because this pump does have to be powered. So we'll have to have one magmatic dynamo there to keep the pump loaded or to keep the pump powered, plus we'll have to load the chunks, which we can do with FTP abilities, which is very cool. So anyway, I'm going to do a little bit more building on this thing, uh, get a get a floor in it, maybe get some of the posts in it, well, maybe not worry about the roof just yet, but get do a little bit more building, get some stuff laid out on this end, and then I'll meet you in the nether and show you what we're going to do there. All right, so here we are in the nether. Uh, I heard a ghast. I don't really want to take on a ghast because I don't have the call to do that right now, but that's okay. So down here... I came over this way. Yeah. Came over this way. And we got that little lava pool. We've also got this big lava pool here. I did bring I brought. Um so I want to get out into the lava a little bit. Get out into the lava a little bit uh, so that we can get a good stream of lava. Really stinking. Let's get out here just a little ways. And I'll show you what we got in mind. That'll do. Uh, so now I need this, this, no, not Put that back. Uh, put that down. This out. That out. Now we need to get a fluid duct coming out of the top, like that. We need our, our we need this going just like that. I think that'll work. Now if we do this, put our chalice right down like this, this should be able to, uh, that should get us some good flow of lava. I can see what I'm doing. I want to put this servo on here, right? And we want to set it to always active. Okay, that should work. We got ourselves a bucket here. Get a bucket of lava and put it in there, and it'll start making power. I think. Yeah, it's our, It's starting to work. So now this right here should be getting lava in it hope really hope so what we need to do now is we need to go back to the overworld getting lava but first before we do that chunks chunk loading of course we're right on a chunk order all right folks chunk load I'm gonna chunk load the crap out of nether here for you that'll work 
and then we want to chunk load it here. Set these all for chunk loaded. Okay, and now when I get back to the base, the chalice should have I should have lava going in. Let's uh, see what we got over there. I'll see you at the base. All right, let's see how we did. As you can see, I've got a couple of Oh, baby, there's lava here. I love it. So as you can see, I've got a couple of magmatic dynamos right here, uh, leadstone energy conduits on top, a energy cell on the top of that. Coming out the bottom here, we've got fluid ducts. And those are the hardened fluid ducts because they've got to be able to hold hot liquids, right? So all we need, all we should have to do now is get ourselves a, get ourselves a servo, always active. We're making power. We are power. This needs to be configured so that bottom input. Yes. That all the rest. I guess it doesn't matter what they're set for, but that should start. Oh, baby, it's power. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so awesome. We have power. We have power at the base. More than more than that. I love it. I love it to pieces. Now what we'll have to do is we'll have to figure out a way to transmit power wirelessly. So if you guys got any ideas for that based on what's in FTB Horizons, um, I would love to hear it. But um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get some more uh, some more building blocks, and I'm going to go ahead and finish up this uh, uh, finish up this particular um, this particular little shed pavilion thing. And, uh, and when I come back, we'll talk about what we're going to do next. Okay, so a few episodes back, we built, uh, built some stuff, and I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. It's actually in this chest right here. Um, a few episodes back, we built a bunch of other thermal expansion components. The one thing that I wanted to make for sure was this igneous extruder. And the igneous extruder is important because uh, it allows you to make stone. I'm out of cobblestone, and I really don't feel like going mining. So I think that's what we're going to wrap the episode up with today. Um, yeah, this is where. So this is going to be power gen, but I can do some stuff just kind of uh, temporary, right, to uh, to kind of make this work. So let's go ahead and break this block out right here. And I guess we'll break this block out right here, too. Go ahead and put in a couple of these, right? that and that i think that'll work now i got to be careful because the next thing that i want to make the, the next thing i need to put down is the aqueous accumulator um because the aqueous accumulator is going to be what gives us uh, the water to make this thing works but if we put the igneous extrude top of this oh okay it's filling up with lava cool now come down here Got nether, nether rackle. I want to put this right here. So boom, boom, boom. That'll be perfect. Uh, we're gonna go under. Oh. So put this here. Nope, can't put it there. Cannot put it there. Where's my wrench? Oh, you come back here. Hate it when that does that. Darn it. I hear mobs. Cave down there. Sting. We're gonna die. Die actually. There we go. Now we'll put this down here. There we go. Now we'll put the aqua secure there. Find it. There it is. This here. Now we can stand on top of this and stop bobbing around like crazy people. On here. That. So now this thing should be full of water. It is. Get our fluid ducts here. I'm gonna need to make another servo. Yes, we're gonna need to make another servo. Um Blue is input, right? That can make blue. Cool. So now we got water and. Oh, wait. Water? Got oh, water. Water. 
water in there and I didn't put a servo on that. Huh. I wonder if it just outputs automatically. Igneous extra needs power? Does need power. Okay, well that's fine. We can handle that. This is just temporary anyway, so that we can get some stone so we can finish these builds, right? There. That ought to do. Yeah. Gain in power now. Cool. This thing should be just about full. Cool. So now we can get in here and we can get any kind of stone that we want. We can eat cobblestone, which is what I want right now. We've got regular stone and we've got obsidian. Obsidian will come in handy later on for a few things, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this thing build up a little supply of stone for me. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what we've got as far as this finished product out here. Mostly finished, because like I said, that's just temporary. So I'll be right back. I'm talking with Kraken. <clears throat> and uh, he was looking for um, he was looking for some onyx gems, and I had 19 of them, right? And so, uh, so I gave them to him. Why did I give them to him? Because number one, I'm a nice guy. And number two, I kind of owed him because uh, he gave us uh, without without his knowledge, <laughs> he gave us some uh, he gave us all that blood a couple episodes ago uh, that we could use to power a blood infuser, and uh, also we uh, <clears throat> borrowed borrowed. I'm doing air quotes right now. Borrowed. Uh, some magic beans from him. And so I figured, you know, since he needs those, we might as well go ahead and give them to him because I can always find more, I'm sure. And uh, and I don't need them right now. So cracking, buddy, they're all yours. But here's here's where we're at. Um, did pretty good here. This thing looks pretty much just like uh, this one looks. So I think we want to get some, some vines. And so I do have around here someplace. Uh, I do have a pair of shears. Uh, that's not shears. Here. Um, oh, no shears. I know I have a pair of shears someplace. It's a matter of where, right? Because you know me and my inventory. My inventory is all... Oh, wait a second. Uh, here. Ha! Ah, found them. Got them. Yeah, buddy. I knew I'd get those. Okay, so yeah, let's get a couple of vines. Do some decorating. And then there's one more thing I want to build today. Something that Kraken suggested um, uh, in Discord, as a matter of fact. So we'll, we'll take a look at that here real quick. But anyway, let's get vines and S. Yes. I guess I want to put one, like, right over here, maybe? Vines. One. Oh, can't put it there? Why can't I not put it there? And put it there probably because of that thing okay that's fine and then uh, we'll put one there that um do i want to have vines hanging down draping and shrouding the front of this thing i don't no um i guess i could try it and see how it looks i get i get annoyed anytime there's anything blocking my things right so we'll have to see if that's going to work out or not but but here it is it looks pretty good i like it uh, these walkways will probably end up being wider. It'll probably be three wide uh, instead of just one, which would be nice. Um, I wish I could get an aerial view of it. I have to work on flight at some times because there is something in uh, Evilcraft that will allow us to fly. I think in Kraken, he's already got creative flight in his series, uh, which is fine. Uh, but there's that. So the other thing that we were supposed to that we're supposed to look at look at is. Uh, it was. <laughs> Hang on, I've got it in board notes, or not my disc. Oh, an exalted crafter. Uh, looks like it's pretty easy to make. Exalted crafter. Um, and it basically what it does is it, it ties your crafting table to your inventory. So it looks like we just need some gold ingots, which we have. It needs some crushed dark gems, which we have. We need an ender chest. Now that we don't have. Uh, but it takes an Eye of Ender and Obsidian, and wouldn't you know it, we've got a way to get Obsidian. I told you this Obsidian was going to be uh, was going to be helpful. So go in here, you make Obsidian, give me uh, eight pieces. All right. While that's doing that, let's go get an Eye of Ender because that's just Blaze Powder and an Ender per. Oh, why not have an Ender? I bet I may not have an Ender Pearl. I may have used all of my. I think I did. Oh, bummer. 
Um, now there is other ones here. What's this? Powered one. Environmental accumulator. Also, you can put it in there. Huh. What's the wooden one do? Well, the wooden one is just a chest. I mean, I can make this one. Right? I can make this one. I don't have any. Unless, hold on, where's my mailbox at? Anybody can send me anything in here? I do have some things in here. Nothing that I... Hmm. Darn it. We're going to have to do it the old... We're going to have to do the wooden one. That's all right. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. We got to make a chest. Now we're making. Eh, now we're making obsidian for no reason. Uh, we need a chest, a crafting bench. And in there. Hey, there's that. And then we also need to have. Whoops, not that one. Uh, gold, iron, and. Dust. Four, four pieces of gold and a piece of iron. Right. I don't have any room in my inventory for, so or with the rest of that. Those and that should be it. Make this thing now. We can. Right, so there it is. So ooh. Advanced uh, advancement made power crafting. So Oh, would you look at that? Look at. Bind a key to it, he says. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll have to do that. We'll have to do a key binding to it. But, uh, folks, I think that's going to do it for today because sadly we are out of time. I'm actually waiting on a phone call. My, uh, my, uh, my middle child, one that's really, really into scouting, is out, is out hiking right now. Well, actually, he's on his way back from hiking. He went over to Tybee Island, Georgia, and, uh, and went on a huge hike over there, uh, culminating at Fort Pulaski, which uh, I can't wait to hear about it because it, it sounded like it was going to be an amazing time, but I just I had so much other stuff I had to do I couldn't. But anyway, folks, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. Other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we will talk about it in kind. Don't forget to stop by the Discord server and we can chat in there as well. But once again, folks, thanks so much for watching and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.